A criticism leveled at uh, Revit is the fact that it's not very good with detailing. And I think it really gets a bad press in that respect because it's not altogether true. A lot of people think that uh, AutoCAD does it better, but I don't think they're aware of the features within Revit that allow you to detail. And one of them I'm going to talk about today is the assembly feature. And this was reminded of me in one of my recent training courses by Patricia. So I said, I'll give her a name check. So there you are, Patricia, I mentioned you. So what we're going to do is we're going to find it. And what, how the process starts is you select the object. So I'm going to select this counter and this plan. And then you go up to the assembly. And it wants to create an assembly, so we give it a name. And I'm going to call this countertop or counter. And I'll call it counter one. Then you say OK. And then what you can now do is create a number of orthographic views. So you go to the Create Views option. And the dialog box comes up. And it generates a number of views automatically. And what you'll find is that they are a couple of sections and then a top and bottom view and all of the elevations. So I'm going to say that I do need the plan view. I probably don't need an elevation top. I think what you can do with the elevation top is adjust it so that um, um, you can take its height. So if it was a horizontal section, you could use it as that because you've also got a plan view as well. So I'll leave it in for now. It also allows you to create a parts list and a material takeoff as well. So of all the materials and you can add it to the furniture schedule because it recognizes the fact because this feature is not just for one item. You can do many items, but it's really good on one item as well. So we're going to go with all of the options in here. Now, I've only taken out elevation bottom. And then we say OK. And immediately now, if we navigate in the project browser to where it says assemblies and expand it, and there is my counter one, you'll see that these are all the different views that have been generated. So if I go to my section, which is halfway through it, got section through, another section through the opposite way, and elevation front, back, left and right. OK. There's my top. Plan is exactly the same. And I've got a material takeoff and a parts list. And they also generate a sheet that I can put it on, but I need to import in a drawing border and then drag and drop the view onto that. Okay. So that's all been generated within that. But what we can now do is enhance it a little bit. So if I go to my plan view, because I may not want the four orthographic views, my section which is really good. I think, yep, yeah, I want that, but perhaps I only want it, I want it in the opposite direction. I only want it to show the end, like so. So I can move that up a bit. Also, for my other section, I actually want to rotate it. So I can select it, go to the Rotate tool, move the placement point, and then just drag it round until it matches the angle and orientation of the view that I want, like so. I can also use it to add in extra views as well. I go to my View tab, I can go to Section, and what I would like is a section just through the top there, like that. And then that will be added to the other views too. So now, if I go to my Detail View 0, and it just shows a small part, so we need to tweak this a little bit. and it gets a little bit confused because what I was expecting would be the uh, view from the end. But what I'm going to do is if I reverse it and just make it that way, like that, and then go back into it, it's exactly what I wanted. OK. With any of these views, you can hide the crop region. What we can also do, 
with this is we can add much more detail to it. So if I want to, um, taking this one stage further, and these are a couple of ones I've created earlier, I can add in extra detail, add dimensions to my elevations, and also add to the line enhancement to get my section views with as much detail as is needed to convey the design intent. So with all of these, and this feature and this extra functionality, we now have enough um, tools in our armory, I suppose, to be able to create a very good detailed view of any part in our model and it's using the functionality within Revit rather than having to export out to any other software like AutoCAD and then doing the 2D within it. So it's an unused feature, but hopefully now that I've shown you this, you're going to use it much more in the future. Mm -hmm.